when I look at these things, the, the bubble over my head is this. Anytime I look at a family, you have to look at it as a whole. And there will maybe be what's called a, a target uh, individual, the one that's making all the noise, the squeaky wheel. And clearly, sometimes there will be someone in the family that's really broken. And clearly, this kid is damaged uh, by a broken, dysfunctional family. And sometimes when that's happened, a parent will then parent from guilt and be indulgent. But I wrote a book several years ago called Family First, and in that book, the second chapter talks about what needs to happen when there's been a, a broken family. That's not the time to be more indulgent. That's the time when the kids need to see that there's somebody there to still run the business of the family. That, hey, everything's the same. It's like you know, the family seems to have fallen apart, but... It's business as usual. I'm still expected to get up in the morning and get dressed and go to school. And the rules are the same. And there's some order and some pattern to my life. So when things get disrupted in a family, kids look for sameness. They look for something they can rely on where they go, okay, listen, the whole world hasn't fallen apart. I'm still here to expected to do the things I need to do. And I find comfort in that. And, you know, this mother claims a, a, a great bond, but he's obviously feeling a void or he wouldn't be seeking validation by strangers. Um, and that's the problem with this social platform world we live in now. You, you see people getting depressed if they don't get enough likes or if people stop following them. And it really has created a whole new syndrome in our society, don't you think? I mean, people are, they'll put up a video and it doesn't get as many likes as the one before and they actually get depressed. They lose self-worth. And I've told Robin many times uh, since I came out here, thank God I am not afflicted by the need to be loved by strangers. Because I tell people what they don't want to hear sometimes. And I say things that are unpopular sometimes. But I just, I have to be true to who I am and call things the way I see them. And sometimes that gets people all in a flap. And, you know, you just have to be true to yourself. And if you look at some of these people on social media that are trying to be such rebels, they're actually clones. They're all alike. And that's why I said, you know, tell me who you are. Don't, because he's like every other one. Hey, yo, 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 hey, Dr. Phil. Yo, hey, yo, uh, come on. Is that, do you have like a five word vocabulary? This is a smart young man, but he's mimicking everybody else that he wants to be like. And that's not what gets you successful in life. Be unique. Find something about yourself that distinguishes you. And I, I don't know. You know, parents both a noun and a verb. And you, you, you can have a baby, so now you're a parent. That's a noun. But then the verb kicks in. You've got to do parenting. And you don't do that by indulging kids all the time. You've got to prepare the child for the next level of life. And that's not happening if you're indulging a child. And you do not reward bad behavior. Making all Fs and sleep until noon, how in the hell is that okay? That is never okay. So you say, well, here's a, a big camera for TikTok and here's a phone and here's all. Are you kidding me? Um, that just doesn't work. And people do what works. And obviously this is working for him or he wouldn't be doing it. So you got to stop that.